What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. I'm back. As y'all can see, rocking the North High School hoodie. Shout out to North High. Love y'all. My home school, man. Home of the North High Vikings. What up, my Vikings, man? Love y'all. But uh, I do have a business deal that I want to go over with you guys. And I want you guys to tell me if this is a good business deal or a bad business deal. So I'm going to invite you guys and let you guys tell me if this sounds like a fair business deal or if it just sounds like complete bullshit. Like, I want your guys' opinions on this. Like, I legit want your guys' opinions on what you guys think is a good business deal and what's not a good business deal. But, um, hey, I'll only hop over to Facebook right quick because I've got two windows open so I can bounce between the messages and this live stream shit while I talk to y'all. But, uh... Like, I want you guys to tell me if this is a fair business deal or if I'm just, you know, full of shit. And the business deal is, especially in the music industry, as you guys know, a lot of people get fucked over. Well, as you guys know, I talked to, you know, Sasha from Dollhouse Radio, Psychopathic Records. And I told her, I was like, I wanted, you guys already know the situation. I wanted to take my career to the next level, which I do. And she wanted me to pay, you know, so much to be signed. And I told her, I was like, I don't have any money. I explained my situation. And I made her this deal. And I want you guys to tell me if this deal is bullshit or if it sounds like a really fair deal. Like, be honest. Don't just sit there and tell me what I want to hear. Like, you know, be honest. I told her that, you know, due to my situation and everything, I don't have any money and da 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 Well, I made her this offer. I told her these exact words. You sign me now. Straight up. You sign me now for free. You help me get my music out there. I make money. And out of all that sales, you know, you can take however much you need for distribution, for shows, for promotion. Basically, everything that you would need for promotion and to really get the name out there and to push the music. Like, you can take however much you need for promotion and all that shit. And then, you know, you can send me the rest. And then also you can keep a little bit for yourself for, you know, bills, all that stuff. And she's like, no, like, how would I make any money? Da, da, da. It's like, okay, one, you would have all rights to promote all my stuff on any given site. You would have 110% control over my social media as far as promoting, you know, all that stuff. And the sound that I bring in, like the sound that I bring to the table is brand new. Nobody's heard it. It's fresh, brand new. And, you know, you would get a good cut out of it. You'd be able to make money off of me bringing in that revenue. Because I'd be bringing in the money. I would be the one bringing in the money. And you'd get a fair cut out of it, just like I would. We would both get equal cuts. And she sat there and was like, oh no, like, you know, you have to pay this much up front. It's like, I just explained to you, I don't have any money. I have been doing self, you know, promotion, self mixing, mastering. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. What?
Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm back. But, um... Believe it or not, dude, she wanted different prices. Like, to start up, she wanted, like, over 100 And I told her about how I don't have any money. And I explained in depth my situation about how I can't work because I live at home to take care of my mom who's pretty much disabled, who can't do very much. And then she lowered it down to 50 Well, I just told you I don't have any money. I am broke dead as broke. I have no money. All I have is my skills of my music. And then she's like, well, in this industry, you got to spend this much money to make this much money. Da, da, da. It's like, uh, no, I don't. If you would just shut your mouth and listen to my deal and take the deal, we would both get a fair cut in the long run. We would both be happy. I'd be getting money for my music. I'd be making money doing what I love to do. And you would get money doing what I'm paying you to do. But you guys tell me if, you know, if that sounds like a fair deal. Somebody signs me for free and then they take however much, you know, they basically help me get started, you know, get my music out there and da 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 and then they take so much each month for, you know, promotion, social media, the, the usual stuff that you normally do with the music artist. And they get a fair cut out of it and then send me the rest. Does that not sound like a fair deal? Like you guys tell me, does that not sound like a really good deal? You sign the artist for free, you put their stuff out there, and then you take each month out of sales, revenue, and stuff, however much you feel is necessary, like 20-30%, and, you know, you take that and put that towards, you know, the distribution and everything, and then you send the artist the rest of the money. Does that not sound like a good business deal? Because both parties are getting paid. Both parties are are making money. The artist is making money through selling their music and the agent slash promoter slash manager is making money off of that artist's sales. They're getting paid each month for sales. They're taking so much out of that artist's check to put towards promotion and all that. Does that not sound like a good, fair, honest business deal? Because to me, that sounds like a great business deal. That's something I would take up in a fucking heartbeat. Like if I were a record, or if I was a high-end record label that was making millions, and I seen an artist that was really good, that I was really interested in, then this kid, you know, had something new and unique that could, you know, bring in a lot of money, I'd go to that artist and be like, yo, like, I want to sign you. I want to manage you. There's no payment cost for the, you know, the sign up. Like, you sign with us. You sign the record deal. Sign the contract. You know, and we take so much each month for promotion and all that. And then you get the rest. That's what I would do. Because I'm a fair business guy. I'm a business guy. You know, I love doing business. Always have. And because of my fair business play, that's another reason why I'm not getting anywhere because nobody wants to take the fair deal and allow me to help them bring in money through what I do. But you guys post in the comments. Tell me what you guys think about the deal. Does that not sound like a fair deal? Post your comments. Let me know what you guys think. Because I, I could have brought this girl millions overnight practically. With my new sound that nobody's heard before. And with it being as unique and solid as it is. I could have brought in a lot of money for her. 
but she turned down the deal because all she wants is the money up front. Well, bitch, I don't have money. All I have is my talent and my skill. That's all I've ever had. And until a record label comes along and makes me a fair deal or takes my deal understanding out of understanding my situation, I'm basically fucked. Or unless I blow up to 10 million plus subscribers and viewers, which God knows that ain't going to happen anytime soon. But you guys tell me in the comments, does the deal that I made her sound like a fair business deal for an artist just starting out, trying to actually take their music to the next level? You guys post that in the comments. I'll read through them. I got to get back to work. But um, like I said, guys, go ahead and post your comments. Let me know if you guys think that that's a fair business deal. And I will see you guys later.